Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials. Today we're featuring for the first time ROSBAGS, that's Robot Operating System Files. And you have the robot going around, it has an onboard camera, onboard LiDAR, so it's recording images and LiDAR data. So we want to download a ROSBAG file, look at the images, look at the point cloud images and write the images and the point clouds separately to files, which is a nice starter file. So just to say here, the code is taken from just where that's highlighted there. Up there, there's also other stuff here, other helper things there, getting started with ROS, robot operating systems, and here, basic messages as well. So just to give you some idea. I have the code here, and I also exported it to Word. And as we see, the export to Word didn't uh, work as expected. Don't quite know why. Well, that's with the images, but the code is grand, but we're going to look at it in Word, and then we might return back just to the MATLAB just to explain one anomaly, or looking at it in Word because it's more readable for the user. So here we go. So I've given the IP credit, just be careful about that. So we need a helper file to download the ROSBAG file, and that's given at the end here. So there's the supporting function, the helper ROSBAG file. We retrieve it there, we get the message list. And just turn that off there. Okay. And you can see then that when we download the file, you can see there's the time there, that's by 10 to the 9. So compressed image, point cloud data, compressed image, point cloud data, compressed image, point cloud data, compressed image, point cloud data. And there's even a message type here to tell us as well. So there we are, we get the image bag. So we're going to select from the ROSBAG file, we're just going to get an image bag, that would be a cell of 18 by one. So we have the 18 images. And also when you read this sample file, there'll be an 18 by one cell, that's PC bag, because an 18 by one cell and that will contain, contain the point cloud data. So. We read the messages there. That's um, a specific command for a ROSBAG. And read messages is also a specific command for a ROSBAG to read in point clouds. We create a time series. TS1 there. And TS2 is the time series for the point clouds. And then the B. And T1 then would be just the time for the 18 uh, images, and T2 is the time for the 18 point clouds. Don't really need an expert, just, but just as a bit of validation, we want to check that um, we're in point one of a second. Just scroll down a bit. Must be captured within the same time stamp, so something didn't go wonky with the recording of the 18 timestamps for the images and the 18 timestamps for the point cloud. Um, in our case, this if statement here is false, so it won't compute because the size of T1, comma 1 is 18 and the size of T1, comma 1 is 18. I don't know what I just said. So T2, comma 1, that's 18. That's 18, they're both 18, so they're the same. So the else will execute. We run through it and we're just checking here. This line here. 
So that'll be on the first go through that for loop. That will, will return 18 values. We absolute them. So make them all positive and then we get the smallest. And then on the first go around the loop, we get the val. So the val will be the, the value that's returned there and the index will be one. Second time around the loop, index will be two and we get the smallest for the, the second here, t2, two, two minus all the 18 values, etc. And then we build up the index here or the dx here uh, for the 18 values. Up here, we're going to write the 18 point clouds and the 18 images to file. You're, you're not in a compressed ROS bag file. I assume you have some knowledge of the stuff there, how to do the make directories that DOS command. So here, read image. So that's a specific command for ROS bag files. And point cloud, that's a specific command to read in the point clouds for, from the uh, PC messages as the point cloud messages. So we set up uh, the point cloud file name, the image file name, PCD, we're going to write them as PCD files, and PNG, we're going to write the images as PNG, Portable Network Graphics. Each time I go around here, I, I displayed it. So I here is read in image one, image two, image three, image four, and display it. Now when I export it, when I export the file to Word, something went wrong with the images. You see image seven is first, and then six, and then five, and then four. But if I go back to MATLAB, all is good. There's image one, there's image two, image three, image four. So they're all in sequence there. I don't know what happened when I exported the word. I think it's just memory and the memory just gets, I didn't have enough memory on my machine, but it's all there in sequence. We're in the word as I win the MATLAB here. Now I tried to display the 18 point clouds as well in MATLAB, but you know, I just, again, I think it's a memory problem. I couldn't get it to display the 18 images and the 18 point clouds. So the best I could do was just to display the last point cloud, which I did there. Uh, that's all I could do. Just go back to the Word file. So, Nothing wrong with the coding, just something went wrong with the conversion of the MATLAB file to the Word file. Oh, it's all right there now. But we missed the first few of them. And that's about it. And I hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.